for another Ask Me Your Advisor FinTech question. Look, I've done like eight of these. Everything has been answered, right? I've answered all your CRM questions, your portfolio management, document management, trading, rebalancing. There's nothing left. I even answered some of your video questions. No, it can't be true. It can't be true. So, you always can submit your questions either via the Periscope or email them to me at bill at fppad.com. Got to check my blind spot so I don't get crushed by a bus. Nevertheless, I hope you're ready for a very good week and a proactive week before you get, what about Skins Ravens games? Oh, how about Steve Smith, right? Pre-game, Steve Smith getting ejected for uh, fighting and punching. And then I see on social media, he went up to a box suite, took a picture with his son. How classic is that? Well, it's not gonna, never gonna be a dull moment with Baltimore Ravens this season. So <laughs> I didn't watch the game, but I did see the social feedback on that. That was pretty good. So Baltimore, hope they're gonna go all the way looking pretty good. At least they're fired up. And that's a good segue into your business on how you can get fired up, not only for the work that you do for clients, but for the support you receive in your technology so there are clearly areas that you can get fired up where you can increase client communication you can increase your productivity you can increase your access to your client information so that you can stay on top and be proactive for their needs if you're one of those is account aggregation if you're not using account aggregation to stay up to date on your clients external assets that's a missed opportunity. Um, that's one of the things that most of the online investment services don't have is full account aggregation into held away assets. So they say, hey, we're gonna rebalance your plan, but clients might have the majority of their wealth in a 401k or a 403b. And because the online investment services don't see that, they may be misallocating those portfolios and overweighting US stocks or underweighting international, who knows. That's the point, nobody knows. So if you're not using things like Morningstar's buy all accounts or um, Accumulate and Money Guide Pro has a relationship with Yodely, which is now gonna become an investnet property, you at least have the opportunity to activate the account aggregation. The challenge is keeping your client's credentials up to date. And I know that that's a big thorn in advisor's sides. Uh, that's right, Quovo. Uh, real stuff upstart up and comer for account aggregation. I can't remember does Trizic Do any aggregation out there as well hit their website trizic.com to see if they offer any aggregation That's right Quovo definitely came on quickly with 14,000 plus or minus aggregations it, clearly they must be using portions of Yodely or portions of maybe um, Fiserv cash edge all data I I just can't fathom that Quovo built that many proprietary connections on their own. But you know, ask them. If they're watching, they can submit their question or submit their response here. The thorn in the advisor side, though, keeping those account credentials up to date. And it's just one of those, it's just one of those things that comes with it is trying to increase convenience where our clients can see everything in one place and increase your awareness of assets but it comes with the caveat that sometimes aggregation breaks and sometimes those login requirements change from banks and it doesn't work anymore so it does require a little bit of extra energy and effort and overhead in terms of your time and your cost internally either for you to do it or for your staff to do it but if somebody is Paying attention, monitoring those assets, the asset out, uh, aggregation software, I think you'll get a greater benefit for it. Because again, on your website, in your marketing materials, and in your ongoing collaboration materials with clients, you can tell them that you look at everything. Everything that you can connect to, possibly. And that's a shortcoming that they don't get when clients say, well, you know, I'm thinking about this really low cost service because it's really low cost. Well. That's because the advice you get is really low. We're gonna use account aggregation in addition to the research and diligence we do on all the assets that you have to give you everything. And not that it's more expensive, but we think we're providing much more value for that. So that's a good positioning, knowing that you're gonna have some 
overhead to maintain those account aggregation solutions, but it's for a benefit with that. So let me know what you think. Send me a message, bill at fepad.com. Tweet me at, at Bill Winterberg on Twitter. Hope you enjoy Monday. Hope you enjoy the day. And special data security concerns before I go about account aggregation. Short answer is no. No special security concerns. Most of the aggregators, it's read-only access. Um, what about data storage? They probably would store that data um, for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days as you pull that down and they ought to be implementing bank level security to tighten up those servers. Um, there's some handshake agreements with proprietary feeds. So certainly get a piece of security documentation from your account aggregation provider. Put that in your compliance file and I think that if I came into your firm and audited you for security, if you had that information from your aggregation provider, I would not fine you, I would not cite you for lax security reasons. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to ask for clients' credentials. I don't want you to ask for their passwords. Don't write them down on post-it notes. Don't put them in a spreadsheet. Really what you ought to do is allow clients to type their own credentials, into a dashboard or into the solution that you use so that you never see them. And that's where the inconvenience comes where when passwords change, you need to prompt clients to go back into this system and the solution, update their information and save it. But please don't ask for their passwords, don't write them down on post-it notes, don't put them in Excel spreadsheets. That can trigger custody issues. And that's just, it's not bad, custody is not bad, but it requires much more overhead, it requires a surprise audit from a CPA approved firm or the, whatever it is, CPAOB, I forget who the uh, auditory body is, but it just increases dramatically your overhead and compliance requirements for that. So that's a concern is don't get access to your client credentials, let clients plug it into the system and let them configure the aggregation system. So very good question. So enjoy the rest of your day on Monday. I hope this is going to be a very good week. Let's trust that the market won't be as extremely volatile. No thousand point swings each and every day and uh, have great communication back and forth to your clients. Thanks for your question. Very good question. And we'll do more of these as the week progresses. Enjoy.